Hey guys, it's me, Made Up Jen, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another video. So today, we're gonna go ahead and get ready. I'm actually getting ready to go see my favorite, one of my favorite, because my favorite one is A Little Mermaid, but my favorite real life movie, which is a Back to the Future 2. Um, they're having a special event October 19th and the 21st at certain theaters and they're only showing one time showing which is at 7 o'clock. Um, it is currently 5 o'clock um, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready with you guys and just get ready to go to the movies because why not? <laughs> so um, I've already, like I said, it's already 5 o'clock. I did my skincare 12 hours ago at this point um so i'm just gonna go ahead and start prepping my face a bit so as you guys know i've i'm gonna use a lot of like the stuff that i would use to go out like on a date and i want to look decent like good decent because there's obviously a good type of decent and then there's like a regular decent and then there's like the glam glam decent and then there's glam glam um so yeah i'm gonna use a lot of the stuff you guys have seen me use before so i am applying the hello the it hello sunshine moisturizing hydrating moist hydrating serum primer with spf 50 on it um the sun is still technically a little bit out right now so i am going to apply some sunblock and then i'm gonna go in with the milani conceal and perfect blur out smoothing primer if you guys saw my last video you guys know that i'm in love with this thing this consistency is just very cooling and then right now i feel kind of hot so putting this on is going to make me feel nice and fresh on my face it doesn't stay cool the whole day so let's start with that part but it does have this cooling effect with it when you apply it so it kind of like cools me down a bit so i really do like that because i just feel refreshed after i put this on and this does have hyaluronic acid and it it says it blurs and as you guys saw i did put a very moisturizing primer before that which makes me very 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 shiny um and this one it just keeps me hydrated but not super shiny and it just like kind of blurs out my skin it just doesn't look as bad and honestly guys this primer is so good for me like every to each their own right because everybody's skin is so different um i have heard obviously people who don't like it i've seen reviews for it I, when i was um when I was going to link it in my last video, I saw that it had like a 4.0 or something like that. Some people didn't like it. I know that for some people it did sting apparently. For me, it's obviously, I'm using it and I have very sensitive skin. Um, I don't know if it's because I used another primer beforehand. This one right here, this Milani and this Hello Sunshine together. My makeup stays put for over 12 hours, guys. I actually wore makeup the other day. I put this on and I went to work in the morning and I had to and then I went to Disney right after I got off of work so I got ready at 6 in the morning and I didn't come home until 1130 at night and my makeup guys still looked on point like I literally looked like I had just put on my makeup like probably like an hour ago because you know within an hour your makeup kind of settles and yeah I just I really 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 like this primer and the combo of it i'm gonna go ahead and contour my face really quick i'm gonna use the anastasia beverly hills uh what is this called the contour stick in the color fawn uh and this is the shade of it i know this this does not have like the best reviews but i when it comes to contour i really like stuff that contours like it has that gray, but it, there's still like some brown going in there. So I do go a little bit low with it, as you guys can see. A little bit high and I do go on my nose. And yes, I do. I did pick my, <laughs> I picked my nose. Um, 
I'm getting like these weird blackheads on my nose. Um, blackheads are like, they're not blackheads, but they look like blackheads. And I try to pop them and nothing comes out. And I just don't know like what it is. Is <laughs> like I'm I'm low-key a little bit concerned because I'm just like what is it you know um what if something's wrong what if I have something going on I'm now at the age where like you know I'm 35 I'm now at the age where like everything kind of worries me because I'm just like what if it's what if it's something bad what if it's like something that's not benign <laughs> you know I'm at that age where everything just kind of like freaks me out um, and I'm just going to go in with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer Brush. Um, again, I say this all the time, but if you've been here before, like, these are the things that I regularly use every time I do bronzer or contour, specifically liquid or cream. This is a cream bronzer. I did use another brush in another video, um, which, by the way, I did not post a... Uh, I didn't like how my makeup looked at the end and I was just like I'm not gonna redo it all over again so I'm just like it's just lost uh, footage at this point um, but I use a different brush to blend out this contour and I hate it it made it look patchy you guys see that like you can see where I've pretty much blended out my contour I use a different brush I think I used which brush was it? I just used like a regular brush like this one, which I would usually use for my cream bronzer. And it left my cheek so patchy and I did not like it one bit. Um, this uh, brush right here, this putty brush, is very inexpensive. And I know it's meant to be used for the putty bronzer from e.l.f. Uh, that it's its purpose, but it's like stiff enough where it literally blends out creams and liquids so well i have a confession to make and um i know once i say it it's gonna be out there because this is youtube and everything is out in the world when you talk about it so uh, back in like 2017 2018 when i was still coaching um I once had, I was just sitting down, I was like kind of prepping like what I was going to do for that practice and one of my kids randomly came up to me and they were like, coach, I have a question. And I was just like, I looked at her like, why are you sitting down, you know, because she sat down next to me and she had her phone and I used to have a no phone um, unless it's for emergency uh rule what i was coaching by the way i'm using the essence uh super balm i'm just my lips are a little bit chapped today at work i literally had i left my lip balm in my bag and i didn't bring my bag <laughs> so my lips have been a little bit chapped i've been drinking a lot of water to kind of like rehydrate myself because i feel like i'm dehydrated but so she comes up to me and she tells me coach can i ask you something and i'm just kind of like what like what, what what happened like is there an emergency like you know because the only reason why they would be allowed to use their phone is for an emergency or if they were waiting for a call from like their parents to come and pick them up because they had somewhere to be but they would let me know beforehand you know and she's like do you have a youtube and i was like because at this point, like 2017, I already had thought about having a YouTube. I tried. I had just bought a camera not that long before that. And I was just like going to do YouTube. But I couldn't edit. I just, it was just, I just felt like it wasn't meant for me. And I wish I really would have stuck with it. Because who knows how far I'd be, I would be with it right now. Um, but yeah, she goes ahead and she tells me, do you have a YouTube? And I'm like know why and and then she like shows me a picture she before she shows me this picture she tells me are you sure like do you have any kids and then I look at her and I'm like we're getting a little bit personal here like I was like I know I don't have any kids like I've told you guys before I don't have kids and then they're like are you sure like we think you're living a double life and then I looked there and I was so confused. So, so, so confused, right? And I'm like, why would you say that? And then she was like, she grabs her phone 
she they screenshot this picture of Yoatsi. So if you guys know who Yoatsi is, her brother is Luis Castro, the baddest perra. <laughs> That's how I know, you know, him as. Um, but I had I didn't know he had a sister because I I don't follow Louis like that and at that point I didn't really follow him and I I just knew like I didn't even know that they were related um when they showed me this picture so she shows me a picture and it's a picture of her with like black hair and at this point I had blonde hair or I had light brown hair and she was with her kid her first kid which was her son and I think he was only like three years old three four years old something like that because like I said this was back in like 2017 2018 and I was so confused like I first of all I don't think I look like her <laughs> I personally don't think I look like her um i think I have features that make me look like her or that more like she looks like me and um I've been getting a lot more now that I work in the beauty uh in the beauty departments um I for example like I'll be at work and when I usually like when I'm a cashier or I'm backing up as a cashier some people will look at me and I've had it happen to me not only at work um there was one time I went to Ono's and I was ordering and the girls just like stared at me and she kept looking at me and I literally had to tell her no I'm not her and she was just like oh my god you look so much like her and like <laughs> and I was just like I don't see it you know like I don't see it and then so that was then and then now I tell people she looks like me <laughs> let's get that started let's get that straight she looks like me and the reason why I say she looks like me is because I'm older than her I think she's like 25 20 I don't know but she's younger than me I'm 35 so when people come at me and they tell me oh my god you look she look you know you look like her I literally tell people all the time by the way um if I don't say what I'm using, I will link it down below in the description box. But again, if you've been here before, you already know what I'm going to be using as I'm doing my makeup anyway. But this is the Fenty Beauty Wear Even Concealer, and this is in the color 260. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've been getting that a little bit more often. And I actually did get a comment about it in one of my videos a while ago. Someone literally told me, you look like Yoatsi and I just like it bothers me because I'm just like why do you guys have to compare me to someone else um and it bothers me because I'm just like why do you guys think she looks like me like I I get it there's resemblance like her eyes maybe our face shape I want to say it might be that um I I don't know at first it used to bother me a lot and now I'm just kind of like I embrace it in a way I kind of just like tell people no like she looks like me at first it used to be people staring at me and kind of like thinking about it especially because I go to Disney a lot but the problem is like we've always had the opposite hair color <laughs> so that's why when one of my kids was like we think you're living a double life they thought I was wearing like a wig and I was passing off as Yoatsi like I was Yoatsi like they they really thought I was Yoatsi and I was just wearing a wig when I was recording videos and stuff and I would and I had a kid and I didn't tell them about it and yeah that's that's <laughs> that's literally what I was going through with that and now it happened at work i don't mention nothing about it that i look like her nothing of that sort because i just don't want to be associated with her in that way like it's cool you know if she ever hits me up like yo let's make a video together like you know you look like me people keep saying you look like me like twins kind of deal but at the same time like i would say no just because i don't want to gain followers just because of someone else and i know they always say it's who you know um but i want to just like be able to do stuff on my own and i also wouldn't think she would ever contact me anyway because she would think i would be trying to get it as like a grab you know who knows i don't know if she would think that um but it just it's crazy to me to think that there's someone out there who looks like me and then it makes me think of that movie I don't know if you guys have ever seen it if you're a little bit too young or you might know who, what I'm talking about I think it's called The One it's Jet Li um and the movie is about how 
there's seven people who look exactly just like you in this world and people tell me that she looks like me that I will that I look like her I just it just bothers me when people say I look like her because I'm just like I'm older she looks like me you know <laughs> but no one knows me like that so I so it makes sense that people would tell me you know she looks like you um and obviously I get it a lot where people think I'm not 35 um everyone at work because oh, they're obviously younger than me they all like to tell me oh I thought you were like my age and I'm like 25 26 and they're like yeah I'm 25 how did you know and I'm like because I always get it from the same age group it's just weird to me that there's someone out in this world that actually potentially looks like me like we're similar um but we're not you know like it, I I would never ever contact her I would never expect her to contact me and people tell me all the time you should like hit her up like you know and do like a video and I'm just kind of like no like I don't want to be that person who like takes advantage of someone who's much more bigger than me because obviously I'm a nobody when it comes to YouTube and Instagram and I just made a TikTok so like in that world like I haven't even posted a TikTok I made an account literally yesterday because I'm just like you know what like I really just have to put myself out there and as much as I've been fighting to get TikTok like I just got it the problem is that I couldn't get my actual name like I got made up Jen but they added a seven because I'm guessing someone else already has the original made up Jen and I'm not verified so I can't like whoever has that I can't tell them yo you gotta give me like my, my name you know <laughs> I'm the originator even though it's on Instagram on YouTube like and my email it's all made up gen so um but I can't fight that with TikTok at least I don't think I can I'm just gonna do one last thing of this And then I am going to go in with the same concealer, but in a brighter color. Um, I'm going to go in with 240N. And this one's going to be to highlight certain areas on my face, like down the nose. Right here, right here. And then a little bit right here. The colors are almost identical um 260 240 they're both neutrals it's just that i really 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 like this concealer um now that i'm older like it's really hard for me to want to try certain things um because they're, they might be too heavy for me like the natasha denona i really 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 like the high glam concealer i just tried it for the first time this year i know it's been out for like two years or some crap like that um but I just <laughs> it's too heavy for me I'm older like it just doesn't it settles into the lines if I use too much and if I use too little like it doesn't give me the coverage that I want um and this one from Rihanna like you know Rihanna's a year older than me so I feel like she's in the same boat with me where we're kind of like getting older and we don't want our concealer to settle and we want something more hydrating because the hydrating is much better if you have wrinkles under your eyes um, instead of matte because matte will accentuate all the fine lines and who wants to accentuate their fine lines? I know I don't and I feel like a frizz thing. It's Milo's hair. <laughs> Great. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think I actually look like Yoatsi because I always get it and I've been getting it a little bit more often now and I don't know why I'm getting it more often more now that I'm um, older. I was expecting it more when I was younger, but now I don't. Um, it started for me like with that and then some years later there was a TikTok video of her uh, drinking a drink um, and they were doing like the Mario Kart, like the countdown. And I literally got a message from one of my ex's friends, tell like literally messaging him and telling him, yo, is this Jen? Because she was on a date with her ex uh, baby daddy or ex-husband. I don't know if they were ever married. Like I said, I don't know much about her. Um, I, I didn't even know who she was until, you know, my kids told me at that point um, in time. Um, but obviously now I know she's not with that guy anymore. But point being, 
it was a video of her they were drinking they were counting down and they were trying to see who was going to finish the drink faster and i and then i got the message and i'm just like <laughs> you know this is not the first time this has happened to me and they were like what like confused because this was obviously the first time and it was like a video on tiktok i believe and i didn't have tiktok so um I was just like, it's not me. <laughs> it's not me, I assure you. I'm not cheating on so-and-so. Um, they're right next to me. Um, it's just, this is just who, who that person is. Like, I, I can't really like tell you anything else other than she just looks like me. <laughs> you know, and it's kind of like, sometimes I just hate that I have to defend myself sometimes. I think that's really what it is, to be honest with you guys, when it comes to me like um me having to like explain that i think honestly that's what it is because some people don't believe me <laughs> like the fact that i actually had my kids tell me that i was living a double life because i look so much like her and i'm just like i just get mad because i'm like i don't look like her she looks like me because i'm older you know and i think that's really what bothers me a lot it's the fact that i am the older one and everyone wants to say she looks you look like her when it's the other way around that's really what it is i think that's honestly really what bothers me and by the way i'm using a juvia's place you guys saw i used the smallest amount and here we are i always think i i got the amount right and look at that i'm about to be fighting for my life right here with this blush and then this side is apparently a little bit too much. So I am going to take off a little bit. You guys see that line right there? That is a contour. So I'm kind of blending in the contour with my blush right now. And now I'm going to go in um, with my foundation. So um, usually I would not use this foundation. And it's not because I don't like it. It's just because it's so damn expensive. I was gifted this by pinchme.com. But... If you were to go out and wear this just to go to the movies, I feel like it's too much to wear to the movies. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes there's certain items where you're just like, that's way too expensive to be wearing just to go to the grocery store or just to go to the market. You know, like, just to go to, like, Amazon or just to go, you know? Like, there's certain stuff where I'm like, I'm only going to use it for a couple of hours and then I got to take my makeup off. I want my makeup to, like, if I'm going to wear something like this from Ilia, which this foundation stick, I believe, is $42. This is their Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. This is in the color 20N Iroko. Um, this is expensive. I would not want to wear this out on a regular basis, like, just to go to the movies. But I wanted to wear it. I've been testing out... You know certain stuff and this is just like a foundation that i really have liked i like that it's a soft and matte if you're not into like soft matte like this is not for you and then um it's a natural light to medium coverage so just fyi if you are looking for a little bit more Full coverage this foundation is not for you I mean you can technically build it up and it can become somewhat full coverage but I think if you add too much of it it makes your face look caked on um, that's usually what happens when you use a uh, stick foundations uh, why is look Milo's hair is on here and he has not even been on my desk um, but yeah I do like this foundation stick and if you guys see me go a lot to the side it's just because I want to see behind me um, I'm trying really hard to not look into my actual mirror um, because every time I look into the mirror I block you guys and you guys can't see what I'm doing and why would I record if you guys can't see what I'm doing right But I like to blend it into like the contour that I did right here, into that concealer I did right here, and then I'm going to blend this out right here. And no, I have not done my brows. Um, the last time that you guys saw me, I did use the brow freeze and it gave me issues, so I, I'm not going in that route. 
Um, I actually have not been doing my eyebrows like that in a while because I actually did get my, la uh, my eyebrows laminated. I went into Ulta, they have a benefit bar and they do lamination, they do brow waxing. Um, they don't do skin tint in California. I found out that we're not, California is not allowed to do skin, like, uh, brow tints because of something in the chemical, I don't know what. Um, California. If you don't live in California, you're fine. <laughs> and you have an Ulta. Um, but my brows have been thriving. Right now, they don't look like they're thriving because I, ha I didn't brush them. But as you guys can see, like I was talking about earlier, I did get it on laminated. And usually in the mornings, I have to finish doing this. I have to fluff them up. But once I do this, they stay put. Like they don't move they are nice unless i put on like a shirt like i would put on a sweater it flips my hairs down um but this has been like a month already guys and my eyebrows are still thriving and i do recommend it if you have an ulta and they have a benefit bar inside of their store and you can get brow lamination do it it is a little bit expensive but it does last especially like if you're doing your lashes like lashes are expensive i've been considering doing lashes but you know that's like a hundred dollars a month actually more because you have to do fills every two three weeks but i have been thinking about it because it would just make me look so much more put together and then i'm just gonna go in one more time And this one's gonna go over the nose and over here. And I'm just gonna start blending this in again. And then we're gonna start going over the skin. Oi, sticky booty, your stomach. So, um, Mitzi, I got home and I usually leave like little pampers so she can go use the restroom, you know, while I'm not home. And, uh, she had like a mucus in her poop and I Googled and the problem with Googling stuff is just that like, it just loves to panic you. And it said there was like 10 million things that could be wrong with her. I did just give her, um, she just, just got like a little semi console, um, to get, the flea medication because she's been she's had fleas all freaking summer and then milo came along and he was from the street and he had fleas and i've been trying to give them like baths with like dawn to kill all the fleas but they just will not leave them alone so um i didn't want to pay for the pill because it was 67 dollars because I also had to get a consult. So the there's like this low vaccination thing that pops up at certain shelters or at certain parks around the area. And they give you low cost vaccines. Um, treatments like I took Milo to go get dewormed. I had taken him two weeks ago to go get his rabies shots and his RSV whatever shot that they get for cats. Because um, they're different than dogs. Um... And yeah, um, he got worms because he has a horrible habit of eating flies. He chases them down and then he eats them and he had a gusano. Like I literally, like, you know, when you pet cats, they tend to lift their little butt and their tail flips up with it. So then when I did that, I turned to look at him and he had a white worm on his little butt. And I was just like, oh, hell to the no. What the hell is that, Milo? What the hell is that? So again, you guys see that? Like it's pigmented, but the foundation just pretty much covered it. <laughs> like I said, it's medium coverage, but the more you add on, the more coverage it obviously is going to get, but it becomes more thicker because it's not liquid, it's cream. Um, so obviously the more cream you pile up the thicker the consistency gets on your face and it doesn't feel thick on my face um but it will look thick on my face it looks like i have like an actual like full layer of makeup on my skin so this one this foundation can obviously be used as a no makeup makeup type of foundation um it can be used obviously as a 
medium to full coverage just beware it can look thick and heavy but it won't feel thick and heavy you know but enough of this <laughs> i always do this i just keep blending and blending and blending you know i haven't even bothered to see if this will blend with a sponge i have a sponge right here that i just literally wet just to set my makeup at the end when I said it would spray. I don't use it for nothing else now. But I am going to just grab a little bit of that uh, blush that I took off. You guys remember I took some off and I'm just going to slightly. You guys see that? That is the smallest little bit that I put. And I still have a little bit on my finger so I'm just going to do that. And then watch. Like, she is pigmented, guys. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. This, guys, I really, 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 really like this powder for under the eyes to set. But I am going to go ahead and grab my beauty sponge. Um, this is dry, and as you guys can tell, it's pretty dirty. Sorry, not sorry. Um, but I use it dry to set my under eyes with this powder. So I'll just go straight in with it and I'll just set. But let me go ahead and just look under my eyes and see if I need to, which I'm sure I do, blend out. I need to blend out my concealer. And then from right here, I'm going to just go over my eyelid. I usually don't like to put concealer. I've seen like videos of girls saying like, oh, concealer is the best for the eyes. Um, yeah, when you're like 25. When you're 35, if you don't set it right, just like under the eyes, it creases. And then it makes, it makes, and then I get oily eyelids. So that doesn't really help my situation either. So yeah. <laughs> So you guys see right here, I have like that transition from the concealer a little bit. So I just like to go in with the brush. And then I'm going to go in with the powder. And I move fast with this because my under eyes and my eyelids crease so fast. Like as soon as I blend it out, I have to like set it literally right after. And as you guys can see, I'm just using the dry beauty sponge and it literally just sets right where it needs to. And I just go in with a little bit more. And this powder technically is mattifying also, but it's like the right amount of matte. Like it's not mattifying where it's sucking in and making it look like it like you guys know what I'm talking about. Like when you use matte stuff under your eyes and then you set it, it makes you just, it just looks cakey. You know, this doesn't make my concealers do that. The powder, it is expensive. I will not lie. <laughs> um, usually the powder, I will buy it during like Prime Day or I just happen to find it like on sale um i originally got it for 11 dollars the first time that i used it and then i just finished that one and i got this one as a replacement and i think um this one there was a sale online on ulta and i did like this big order and i the powder was on sale for like 15 dollars 16 dollars something like that which is honestly the cheapest you're gonna find it because it's originally 25 dollars and at target it's like 27 dollars it's more expensive at target for some weird reason than it is on amazon or Ulta. And usually I won't use this powder to set the rest of my face. I literally just use it to set like right here because it's it helps for the pores. It blurs out pores. So I literally just use it like kind of think of it old school 2016 concealer like triangle. In the areas where I really want it to blur out. Which is right here usually when i'm in a hurry like you guys saw the last video if you guys saw my last video if not i will link it up here um i will literally just use this, this powder to set the whole rest of my face but 
Oh, that's the one thing I hate about these type of ciphers. Oh, no. My shirt. <laughs> my drawers. Oh, my God. My hand. I'm just going to grab my brush right here, and I'm just going to pat my my hand, and I'm going to move it. Oh, sh. I'm just gonna move it. <laughs> I put the the thing down, and I'm just pretty much letting it get sucked in there. Oh my god! Oh, and it fell in my drawer because I had the drawer open. Oh my gosh! That's the one thing I hate about ciphers like that. But we're gonna go ahead and set the remainder of my face using that kimchi puff puff pass setting and a baking powder it sets and it bakes so if you're the type of person that likes to bake i would recommend that powder um the problem with that powder is you can't get it just anywhere you would have to go to cvs um not every CV cvs has it also um and you if you have a jc penny and they have like the sephora or the actually they removed the sephoras if i'm not mistaken jc penny now is just like they have like this it's just like a random um, makeup stuff. They do sell like um, Lunar Beauty in there. Uh, like certain Lunar Beauty stuff. And they sell this. And they sell some of the other stuff that they... That the Kimchi brand offers. Oh my god, Mitzi, your stomach. Like I said, she pooped like mucus with her poop and I googled and it says she might have parasites and the thing is I I think she might have parasites guys because like I just told you I de dewormed Milo because he had a gusano this one right here will literally because Milo's um litter box used to have a flapping door but then it got jammed and then I couldn't fix it so I had to take the door off this one right here now will peek in through the litter box and eat his poop and if she ate his poop when he was you know because he has gusanos right now he's he's obviously killing them off he's pooping them out what if she ate his poop while i wasn't here because i do put like a weight thing i put a dumbbell in front um so that she won't go into it but sometimes i'll move it when i'm working out and i completely forget and i'll go in the shower and then i walk out and she just looks us you know now i'm gonna go in with the kelly contour the smashbox kelly contour um palette and i'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush and i'm gonna go into the bronze the bronzing color that's in there i'm just gonna bronze myself And I'm not going to put mascara on today. Um, there are certain things where I'm just like, I'm going, this is like my most formal makeup, no makeup look right here. And I do say formal because obviously I use a very expensive foundation <laughs> to go with it. Um, oh my God, all this powder. I can't believe I did that for talking and not paying attention. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm not going to go ahead and put mascara on. Um, I'm going to keep it simple with the brows. So right now I am going to use... Where is she at? I'm just going to use the Rare Beauty... What is this called? Flexible Lifting Gel. And I'm just going to brush through the brows. And again, it's the same motion I did when you guys saw me with the spoolie. I'm just going to go in do that. And then I'm going to start pushing up. To give my brows that look, that laminated look a little bit. Obviously, they're not going to hold as much as you would think. Um, I, I know it says it gives like a laminated look. And I'm sure it does. But I don't have time to be here and applying pressure. And, you know, this is as good as it's going to get. Also, have you guys watched a show on Hulu called Tell Me Lies? I really do hope they re oh, they renew for a third season because that show is so freaking good. I know I didn't know that it was based off of a book. I can't even remember the last time I actually read a book. Actually, I do. 
Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> and that was when it was relevant. So that was like years ago at this point. It was like 10 years ago. Because <laughs> I remember I read it on my way to Mexico. Because <laughs> I was trying to refresh myself for when the movie came out, I think that year. But yeah, I watched, I just finished watching season two of uh, Tell Me Lies. And that show is so freaking good, guys. If you haven't watched it and you have Hulu, I suggest you watch it because that thing had a chokehold on me when I started watching it. I was just like, I cannot believe this is happening. Oh, damn, I can't believe this is happening right here. Me dejo blanco. It left me white, guys. God, mother, f damn. This is what happens when I don't brush my brows before I start this process because I had foundation on my brows. So um, because of that, uh, when I applied the product in my brows, it spread the foundation that was under. So now I got to brush through and pretty much remove the foundation that was on my brows. See, like, these things are what takes me longer. Like, my mistakes from being in a rush. And then, since I'm pushing the product, it's going into my actual skin. Ugh. Whatever. We're good. I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm not even gonna do anything to my brows. Um, I was going to fill in a bit. Like, right here. And then a little bit under the eye. And for this one, I don't like to look directly at a mirror anymore. And it's not that it, the mirror doesn't help. It's just that I like to look at the actual bigger mirror because you can see the full shape of how it's going to actually look. So I want to make sure I'm giving myself the right shape. And I need to go because I need to feed the kids before I leave. I just thought about that. This is as good as it's going to get because I ruined my damn brows by not brushing the foundation out first. So just remember, don't ever do that like what I just did. I completely would usually brush through to remove all the excess foundation that got stuck there in between that. And I did not do that. So obviously, this is what happened. I just delayed myself an extra like five minutes just trying to fix the error. So be careful. <laughs> pay attention to your, what you're doing is because I'm in a hurry and every time I'm in a hurry something always like ruins my situation I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the color Peaceful I don't even know if they still have this to be honest with you guys because um I've had this forever <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that I've had for that I don't even know if I should still be using because I'm pretty sure it's already expired but look at me still using it. And I'm just going to grab this Milani Stellar Lights highlighting palette. And I'm going to... Where are you? I'm going to go in with just this little brush right here and I'm going to go in with the pinkish color that's in there and apply it in the inner corner. I probably should not have gone with that color. It's not as right as I thought it was going to be so I'm gonna go in with the white color in there bam look at that instead A little bit of a, the highlighting right here and I'm just gonna slowly 
I'm just gonna tap really lightly because as you guys can see she she she's strong and then I'm just gonna go over with my blush brush to kind of blend it okay and we're pretty much done um I'm not going to worry about my lips. I'm just going to put the loss. Oh, snap. I'm going to just put my lip balm, to be honest with you guys. But I'm going to just set my face. I'm going to go in with the Revolution Hydrate and Fix. And this just blends in all the powders into the skin. And I am putting it also on my sponge. Just one, just one pump. Because the last time I did more than that, and I had to wait for my sponge to... Um, dry out a little bit from it and if you ever go really heavy-handed with something this is gonna tone it down just FYI I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get ready for this movie that I'm about to go to. If you guys like this video, please let me know down below by liking the video. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.